threats on a hook. This one's got a wee bit more to it. Not a lot, but it's got a wee bit more to it. Now I'm using a red thread, this is a 6-0. I'm putting down a layer of thread all the way along the shank. I'm going to put a tail on it and I'm going to use mirror flash. And it's about 12 strands or so there. Now you see the length I've tied it in is about maybe 5 or so mil from the eye itself. Tail length is around about the shank length as your measure. Now it's a sunburst one uh, version I'm going to be using or tying and you need a 15mm fritz. This is a translucent fritz. Now what I do is at the other end I, I melt the end and flatten it with my finger, moisten my finger and flatten it. What this does when you're winding the fritz up it stops the fritz or the, the, the thread inside or the core coming loose. And this is a very tight fritz, this one but it doesn't do it much, but just in case it does. Now what I do here is remove some of the translucent fibre and reveal the core, the thread, and then I tie that on the side. Very tight. Take it up. Put in a good layer of thread, tying in the tail and the core itself. To this point here, as I say, around about 5mm from the eye. Now to wind the fritz up, what I do is touch and turns, run the fritz or wind the fritz up and stroke back the fibres and do a turn in front of the last. Just keep going up, you do one turn and you pull it back and you do another turn and again you pull back the fibres, anything going forward, draw it back, do another turn in front and you keep doing this all the way up and you'll end up with a really thick and heavy blob type body. There's a lot of colours of these flies out there. The sunburst is a good one. And I'm going to use an orange, fluorescent orange deer here for the head. And once you've got enough frets there, what I do is keep it, always keep it nice and tight. Bring it straight up and bring the thread with it. And put a 90 degree bend into the, the fibre itself. Put in maybe a good half dozen turns of thread. I usually trim it the length of the head area. So that I can see the core, keep the thread tight at this point, and then pull off the translucent fibre, again revealing the core. Then all we have to do is tie this down, try and make it as smooth as possible. For this is the world's, the world's hardest material to get a nice smooth head area. Now we take the thre thread forward by right towards the eye and then draw everything back that's going forward to the eye, pull it back. Use the thread to tie it down. You need a good surface to wind deer hair on, so if you can spend a bit of time just preparing that point. There we are. Now, that there's the, the blob itself. That there tied on a hook will catch fish. Certainly in the still waters of the UK, and for the competition angler, I've got to have this fly. Certainly for the... I'll take the stockies. At the same time, it does take fly or take fish that's been in the water for a while. It's amazing how it works. That's why you've got to have it. You need all these things for competitions. Now the deer hair I'm going to use is this fluorescent orange. Really bright orange deer hair. Now cut it right down at the skin. Now you need a lot because I'm only going to put one one bunch of deer hair on, so I put on quite a lot. Now what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to stack it, using the hair stacker, put into the hair stacker and stack it up, line up the points, because I want a collar of deer hair. Just tap it on your desk, you'll see all the tips have lined up, and on your finger and thumb, see how it's looking, get the length you would like, that's the length into your finger and thumb, this is a bit of a mess at the back here, so what I do is I straighten them up. Don't go too far down. You want to cut it at a distance it's going to leave you at least some deer to make the head. Put it at the back, there's your length, your collar again. Hold it, you do one, 
two loose turns and then simply keep it tight and allow the deer hair to roll round and then go with the deer hair keeping the thread nice and tight and straight towards the eye. Pull back the deer hair always keeping the thread tight. Thread turns in front good half a dozen or so then come straight in and whip finish. One, two, three, four, five is plenty. Come in, tie off. Draw away your thread. Now to cut the hair, the deer hair, just bring it straight out, the cut ends, you'll see your collar is at the back. I like to get it nice and straight. Now using the curve with scissors, I want the deer, the head, to be quite big or wide, as much as wide as the, as the fritz. Now use the angle of the head to come up, or the eye, just to come up, and the angle of the scissors. Quick, just work your way around. Just take your time. Just watch the length. I actually prefer to times to take the fly off the vise and do it. But you'll not see me doing it, so I'll keep it on the vise. Just take your time. You need a sharp pair of scissors, scissors are going to be sharp for this. There could be any cut ends. Just look at it all the way around. No, that is fine. Don't have to be too fussy with it. Looking for disturbance in the water and certainly this will give you that. Then all you have to do is varnish the head. Get it in there, get the varnish right in. No, a single coat will do it, but you can put another if you want. Clean out the light. And that's your, that's your, your deer hair blob. Sunburst and orange. Good colour combination that works well. And there you are.